Hello unicorns! So today we're going to learn how to start our launch party and what to post in it and all that fun stuff. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to your unique website. I have my unique website right here on my um, main screen on my phone. And this is going to be your unique dashboard. This is what your dashboard looks like, okay? Um, you're gonna go to these three little lines over here. And if you need to access the screen again, it's just dashboard. But today we're going to start our own party. And creating a party link is so easy. Just go to the three little lines, go to the tab that says parties, and then you're going to do schedule a new party. Next step is who is hosting this party? Well, you are hosting your own party because it's your launch party. So host this party myself. And then you are going to choose a um, party theme. It really doesn't matter what it is. Let's just choose lashes, the first one. And your party is going to end 10 days after you start the link. It tells you when it's gonna end here and um, it says 10 days to party. So save my party. After you save your party, the link is going to, going to pop up here on the screen like so. You can copy and paste it, and you can paste it into your notes. So you can make like a little note that says my unique stuff, and you can paste your party link here just like I did. Also, if you aren't good about using your notes, it's always going to be in the email you set up with unique. So here we go, my unique launch party and it's going to have who is hosting, when it ends, um, and the party link itself right there in your email. So that is the first step to creating your launch party. So the second step to starting your launch party is to make a Facebook group. So let's go to Facebook, go to these three little lines on the right lower hand uh, corner here, go to the tab that says groups, and you are going to go to this plus sign right up here to create your own new group. Okay, um, you're going to put a banner on there. So I have a banner saved in the Unique Unicorn um, group, and we're gonna go through that in a minute here, but I'm just gonna show you the banner I'm gonna use here. Welcome to my unique launch, it says. We're going to name our group. Uh, let's do Jamie's, oh, let's capitalize my name, Jamie's epic launch. I find the word party or talking about unique scares people away. So just keep it simple. Jamie's epic launch. Okay. Um, choose friends. You do need to put one person in here. So let's choose um, Jen Bayshard. <laughs> um, and you do want to make sure that this group is a closed group. And that is because eventually after you do your launch party, you're actually going to make this group your VIP group where all your customers will go. You can then start to do sales and stuff like that, but it's against compliance to do sales in a public group. If it's closed, it's completely fine, but you do not want to get in trouble with our compliance team. All right, so let's go to create. My phone's clearly a little slow, but after we create this group, um, you're going to have your own um, launch party group. This is where the magic is actually going to happen, okay? You're not going to do anything with that website link we made, except use it to place orders on. Your party is going to be here, okay? So this is it. You're going to start posting in here, um, and we will get to that next. Okay, so step number three is going to be to find um, out how to post into this launch party. What do you post? Where do you start, right? So let's go back to Facebook. Okay, we're just going to go back to my main screen. Um, then we're going to go back into the Unique Unicorns um, page. So here's the Unique Unicorns group page. Go to Photos. Click all the way over to Albums. Right here is where you need to be new unicorn launch party see it okay this is an order as you need it so you can click one and scroll over so let's click welcome to my unique launch okay right here banner you can use that's what we just did we use this banner scroll over this is just you know saying what this part of this group um, is it's got the launch party stuff in it yada yada scroll over again it says make a welcome post you know put your selfie up on um 
in your group and tell the audience about yourself, why you joined this business. Scroll over again. There is Epic Mascara. This should be one of your first posts. Actually, you should post it a few times during your launch. It's a big deal and everybody loves Epic Mascara. Um, but anyways, so right here, it has the wording that you can use in your launch party. You can copy and paste it. And even right here in the comments, see the comment? You can copy and paste the wording. Scroll over, same thing. You can copy this picture. This is about the Love It Guarantee. Go to the comments, copy and paste it into your own launch party. It's that simple. There's a ton of stuff on here that you can use. Now don't feel like you need to just use what you see here. Use your own selfies, use other people's selfies. Don't use graphics, of course, but just any pictures you find that you love like this. There isn't a ton of pictures in here because I was trying to keep it simple, um, but seriously, go above and beyond in your party. I like to post about three times a day stuff like this. Okay, so step number four is going to be very crucial. So let's go to Facebook and chat about this for a second. Let's go back to Jamie's Epic launch, right? And I want to just talk about inviting people. So first off, when we invite people, you literally just click this invite button, okay? And I want to show you something. Do you see where it says one member? That's me. Remember when I invited Jen to join? It doesn't have her in there because she hasn't accepted my invite to join my launch party. So when you click invite someone, you have to make sure that they actually accept it or they will not be in your launch party. So I have a little script for you guys and it's actually in that same folder that we just went to, but here it is and I'll read it to you. Hey Susie, I just started my own business and I'd absolutely love your support. I invited you to my new business group. Here's the link. Let me show you how to get the link. Go to this little info button here. Okay, share group, copy link, okay? Info button, share group, copy link. Okay, let's go back. And then insert group link here. Do -do 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 -do. Let's do that. And then, if you don't mind just checking it out and letting me know what you think, I'd be forever grateful. That way they click into your group and they actually accept your invite so they can start seeing the things you're posting. If they do not accept your invite, they're not going to see anything you posted and you're gonna have one member in there forever and it's going to be you, <laughs> okay? So this is super crucial um, to start your business off. You want the people that you're inviting to actually see what you're posting. The last step of your launch party I want to show you is how to schedule posts. Everyone is very busy, they have work, they have lives. So in order to remain posting in your launch party three times a day, I think it's important that you learn this awesome feature. Let's go back to Facebook. Okay, so let's go back to my welcome epic launch group. And right here, you're just going to start, I don't know, posting something, let's just, um, put this concealer blah 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 okay so go to the schedule button okay and you can actually pick when you want this to publish so say you want it to publish today around 5 30 at night right 5 30 p.m save post now wait for it when you refresh this screen it's going to say right here one scheduled post do you see that and it says today at 5 30 p.m how cool is that so if you're busy you can just schedule these through the whole entire week so you don't even have to worry about posting in your launch party every single day pretty genius right Okay, so the actual last tip I wanna leave you with before you realize how to start doing other people's parties is that you constantly would like to have your own party going at all times. So your own order link at all times you want going. And I'm gonna show you why. So I'm on the My Party screen and I'll show you how to get to it again. Okay, just go to Parties and then My Parties. 
And then what you're going to see is I'm currently earning rewards <laughs> um, just by placing orders on my website, right? So right here, self, Jamie Santor's party. She's, post, she's hosting it herself. Here are my party points. And here I already am earning Y cash. So as a presenter, you can earn free makeup credit too just by hosting your own parties and placing other people's orders on your order link. So always have one of those going every 10 days. Now, the next video you're going to watch is going to be all about how to host parties for other people. So stay tuned.